updating a property. If you need to make a change to a property ID, click on the property number link in the first column of the table. A properties dialog box will open. Three options will be available to check. This is a new property, update this property, or delete this property. Check the appropriate box and then make your updates as needed. Note, when you delete a property, all the associated assets will be marked as deleted. Remember to edit assets in step three through seven. If you would like to associate the deleted assets with a different property. Otherwise, any assets marked as deleted will be permanently deleted when you file your return. Click on the OK button when finished to save your changes and close the dialog box. You will be directed back to the property screen. Adding a new property. If you need to add a new property location, click on the Add a Property link in the Property ID column of the table. A properties dialog box will open, including a set of options for the new property. Fill in the required information notated by the red asterisk. Then, click on the Add button and add the property and close the dialog box. Any errors are noted in red below the table of property IDs. Errors must be corrected before moving on to the next step. You will notice there is not a property number attributed to the new property yet. A temporary property ID number will be assigned once you have completed all changes on this screen. To move to the next screen, click the Acknowledgement box at the bottom left, then click Next.